Good morning. Um, I am out on my way to go somewhere and I can't really tell you where I'm going because it involves a potential Christmas present hopefully for one of my sisters um, and I think she watches my videos. So I can't exactly tell you where I'm going. I can just tell you that it took me because I kept being late and missing my buses. This is like the third itinerary that I've looked at so hopefully let's pray that I catch this bus and then I can go. It's gonna be nice. It's a pretty nice day. It's still early so I imagine it will be much hotter later. But as for right now, it's very nice. Hi Mary, please. I don't think you can tell where I am. Um, because I accomplished my goal with like no trouble at all. So that was really cool. And I even have time to spare. So I'm gonna... I don't think anything else is in this neighborhood. But I'll go look for it and then wait for my bus to take me back to school so I can go have lunch with Louisa. I found Louisa's, um... I was gonna say apartment. This is not her apartment. <laughs> she does not live here. This is her office, which is really exciting because I've tried to come up here like three different times and she's never in here whenever I try and come by to like get her for lunch. So here Louise is at her computer. Her beautiful like window. She has a really nice view back there. Pretty cool. You can usually watch the circles dancing and singing downstairs. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. There's this one club that practices their dance routines just down like by her window and she can see them. I always feel really creepy when I walk by because I don't want to be like staring at them while they're doing their dance practice, but they're so cool because I can't dance. So I think it's really cool. They're nice even to tell like you're allowed to stare at them. That's what someone else told me one time. I was like, I just feel, still feel awkward. But anyway, Louisa is now trying to look up and see how expensive it would be to buy a carousel because for some, what were we talking? We were talking about something yesterday. I don't know how it came up. But I decided that one day, if I am massively rich, I want to buy a carousel and have it in my house, in my mansion, because obviously, like, you can do stuff like that if you're crazy rich. So she's trying to look it up now, but I'm trying to remember the word for, like, what you would call one of those really big carousels, like, traditional, but I don't think traditional is the word I'm looking for, and then I tried out retro, and that didn't seem right either, and I think the word might start with an M, but it probably doesn't. <laughs> Because the M word could be completely different, like museum, like that would be wrong, but could be what I'm thinking of. Or it could be like French, or a Japanese word that kind of starts with an M sound. I don't know, but if you can think of what carousels would be called, like a big car, you know, like the ones you used to ride in the malls and whatever, let me know in the comment selection below. I would really appreciate it. Did you find any? No, just like sports carousels. No like luck. the ones you have on a playground, they're so boring. <laughs> Nobody's any fun anymore. I'll let you know if we find one. I may have been looking for the word old-fashioned or antique, but I'm still convinced that some word starts with an M. We're gonna look it up now. Louise is very good at research. I'm terrible at research. The French word is also antique. Antique. That's not or it. Ancien. Ancien. I don't think that's it. I swear it's an M word. Okay, like, is there a word with M in this list? No, I was looking. Old-fashioned. Antique. Like, there's words I have never used before. Like. Old fangled. That's not even a real word. That's like a word I would use, but it's not a real word. But I think that's maybe vintage is what I was thinking of. Vintage is definitely closer. We think we found one I like. It's a Venetian carousel, which may or may not have been the word I was thinking of. Probably not. But it looks really nice. And such. Don't it's show also them the price. quite expensive. Um, like almost two hundred thousand euro. So that's why I'm gonna be rich before I buy it. Because you also need the space. Also, I need the space, so I need to have a mansion established so I can put my carousel inside of it. Because I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna buy a two hundred thousand euro carousel and then put it, sorry, I don't know why it took me so long to think of all those words. I'm not going to buy a carousel that expensive and put it outside. Nonsense. It'll be inside. In Oh, maybe I can have like glass in my ballroom type area and then it'll be like it's outside. These are the looks. I get these kinds of looks from Louisa all the time. <laughs> I feel like that's the only way she ever looks at me like, okay Molly, whatever you think. <laughs> Solid. Just going to I'm excited. You. That's all she ever does. This is the company, just in case I ever need, just in case Louisa forgets to remind me that I'm buying a carousel. <laughs> this is swing carousels. I don't want one of these. This is nonsense. I want a traditional mm -hmm. trad carousel. It's going to be really great. They're freaking traditional in Germany. They're like on every Christmas market. But the thing is... Look at that, it's amazing! I mean, they're pretty crazy. They don't have these at Christmas markets. I've never seen one of these at a Christmas market. You've never been to the same Christmas market as I have. I've been to the one in Cologne. 
they obviously don't have one because the one in Köln is just super tiny Christmas markets on platforms. You have to go yeah. to like a big Christmas market <laughs> in Münster. I've been to big what? In where? In Münster. Oh, I haven't been to the one in Munich. In Essen or? I haven't been in Essen. But the thing is, is you said all of them have them and they don't. I've been lied to. I'm sorry. You should be crushing hips and jeans. I like that <laughs> another party on that one. Yeah, we found one that what is it? Eighty-two people. Yeah, it's like a two, like a double-decker carousel. I can hold eighty-two people. I thought that we could like have a party, party, party carousel. Look at this one. Look at it. It's amazing. It's so big. Like, could, like, what, what on earth could you possibly need a eighty-two seater carousel for? If you have an amusement park. I even like. Could, oh, I don't want. Oof, oof. It's <laughs> okay. just that's a lot of people. Betasson, America LLC. They're in Brenton, Tennessee. Why are they in Tennessee? Tennessee. Maybe there's a lot of space for cars. <laughs> <laughs> Louise and I have enjoyed our lunch now. It was really yummy, actually, which was nice. Um, and we're going to Tully's, which I thought I would vlog because I used to go here every Thursday with my French company. And I did my French school and it's just under the clock tower. So there's the like famous clock tower. And then just under here is a little Tully's Cafe, which is cool because they have them in, I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other vlogs, but they have them in, like, America. I think it's, like, a Canadian, I may have just made that up, I don't actually know where it's from. I think they look closed, actually. Yeah, they're definitely closed. Anyway, I used to come down here all the time. I am now at Hanabi with Mel, which is super exciting. I have my special badge that you can fit, um, and it's just really cool. I'm on a mission to go find my whole country though. We've got some cool people playing music. It's hard because when I'm zoomed in so far, like if I breathe, it like changes the focus. Oh really? Even like because it's so close. Yeah. It's a twinkly. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha